This short presentation will give you a quick background to the rationale and processes for bringing cancer gene testing into the routine care of cancer patients. We call this mainstreaming cancer genetics. It will move through the slides automatically. It is important to understand that there are two ways in which gene mutations are important to cancer. Mutations in a person's genetic blueprint can influence whether and when a person will get cancer, what cancers they will get, and which treatments are best for them. These are called germline mutations, and they can be hereditary. Gene mutations that are only in the cancer cells and not in the rest of the body are a hallmark of cancer. These are called somatic mutations. They are important in deciding how best to treat a cancer. They are not hereditary. Being able to access germline and somatic genetic information is increasingly essential to providing the best cancer management for patients. The mainstreaming cancer genetics program is directed towards providing the relevant germline genetic information for patients. The rest of this presentation is about germline genetic information only. Germline genetic information is important for the management of cancer patients and can also provide important information for their relatives. Germline gene testing can provide clinically useful information about why and how an individual got cancer. It also provides information to improve management of cancer patients. For example, some patients are at risk of developing multiple cancers because of a germline gene mutation. It can provide information about which treatments may be more or less appropriate or successful. It can provide information of potential impact to relatives and importantly, this provides an opportunity to identify people at risk before they have developed cancer, which can give a window of opportunity in which to implement screening or preventative measures. Germline mutations in certain genes can cause an increased risk of cancer. Such genes are called cancer predisposition genes. The types and risks of cancer caused by such mutations are variable. The BRCA genes, BRCA1 and BRCA2, are probably the most well-known cancer predisposition genes. In 2015, over 100 cancer predisposition genes have already been identified and together these contribute to about 35 different cancers. Our knowledge is increasing rapidly and these numbers are likely to increase over the next few years. It is important to remember that most cancers are not caused by germline mutations. Looking at all cancers together, only about 3% are due to hereditary mutations in cancer predisposition genes. However, the contribution varies greatly by cancer type. About 15-20% to 20 of ovarian cancer is due to cancer predisposition gene mutations, and it is even higher for some childhood cancers and endocrine tumours. Conversely, it is extremely unusual for lung cancer to be due to a germline mutation. Currently, NHS cancer predisposition gene testing in the UK is very restricted, both with regard to the number of genes that can be tested and the number of people that can be tested. Newer methods of gene sequencing are being used to change this so that more genes can be tested in more people, faster and more affordably than before. We anticipate that these methods will be in routine use within a few years. It is very important to understand that there are two different contexts in which germline gene testing is undertaken. In patients, i.e. people with a medical condition, a gene test is similar to any other medical test. It is performed to gain information about the condition so that the patient can be given the best possible treatment. We call this medical genetic testing. In unaffected people, genetic testing is more complex. Here a test is being done to potentially give information about the person's future health. There are several things to consider before having such a test. We call this predictive genetic testing. Doctors are generally very comfortable about medical genetic testing. Indeed, if a gene mutation can be diagnosed by a physical or biochemical examination, such as Marfan syndrome, cystic fibrosis and various cancer syndromes, then the diagnosis is typically made by a non-geneticist. 
It is the issues involved in predictive genetic testing that non-geneticists rightly feel unprepared for. Currently, virtually all cancer predisposition gene testing in the UK is done by geneticists. This is a major reason why availability is limited. We have implemented a new model whereby medical genetic testing, i.e. gene tests in people with cancer, can also be done by non-geneticists. Any patient in whom a mutation is found automatically has a genetics appointment and geneticists coordinate the testing of relatives. Any patient that wants more detailed discussions before having a gene test can be referred to genetics in the standard fashion. All predictive genetic testing, i.e. in unaffected people, is currently performed by geneticists. This model is already in operation for many other conditions, for example Huntington's disease. A pilot of the model at the Royal Marsden Hospital was very successful and has been very positively received by patients and clinicians. This model for cancer predisposition gene testing is more patient-centred and flexible. It makes testing simpler, faster and allows more patients to benefit from gene testing. It requires fewer appointments for the patient and helps doctors to get the information they need when they need it so they can provide more personalised management to more patients. This presentation is now complete. Thank you for listening.